Well, good morning. Thank you so much for choosing The Buzz UG as your favorite channel to get all the biggest stories making headlines in the country. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> The Minister for Internal Affairs, Major General Kahinda Otafide, yesterday directed the Inspector General of Police, Martins Okoth Ochola, to ensure that unlawful arrests are dealt away with in the quickest way possible. Otafide says thorough investigations should be done before effecting arrests and that the perpetrators in the police force will be held accountable. Tell those gentlemen that I'm tired of unlawful arrests and false imprisonment. And that when you do that, not only do you break the law in the causing an unlawful arrest to a citizen, you also commit the crime of abuse of office. You are using your office to hurt an innocent person. Now, the Minister for Security, Major General Jim Muhwezi, has denied the existence of any human rights violations in Uganda. Addressing journalists at the Uganda Media Center yesterday, the minister said the country is governed under the rule of law and that any claims of human rights violations are mere allegations. Concerning allegations of disappearing uh, people, those are indeed uh, allegations. That matter we shall handle like we are handling it in parliament and tomorrow we are having the National Security Council it's one of the things we are going to discuss and we shall come out with a statement. Now, Minister Jim Huezi also defended the army, insisting that those within the ranks who break the law are heavily punished. Officers, as you know, have been very disciplined. If they are any errant ones, they are arrested and punished like any other. So there is rule of law, there is human rights observance, there are no violations. Now, this is after the opposition in Parliament asked the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, to consider instituting a select committee to investigate the ongoing abductions of supporters of NUP by different security agencies. We need a select committee to investigate uh, what happened with the security forces uh, when these people have been abducted. Are these people being prosecuted after they discover that they illegally or oh, they ab abducted people uh, illegally? Who are these people that are abducting Ugandans that the ministers cannot account for? Where are Ugandans that are being abducted? Who is in charge and who keeps giving these orders? Now, the Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs, Abdallah Chiwanuka, the Shadow Minister for Security, Derek Nyeko, and the Shadow Minister for Foreign Affairs, Muwadan Gunyinji, read a joint opposition statement concerning the ongoing abductions of the opposition supporters in the country. <music> Now, police yesterday swung into action and descended on a group of students opposed to the East African oil pipeline project who had gone to deliver their petition at the European Union offices right here in Kampala. <laughs> They were brutally arrested and according to reports, 10 of them are currently detained at the central police station. We as students of the Republic of Uganda, we are bringing a petition that is promised on four grounds. One is the legal irregularities in this, in this project. There is no member of parliament. You had the minister recently. The minister says, I signed the agreement without reading it. And what has police done? It has tortured us. It has arrested us. The second premise is public anxiety. How many Ugandans have been displaced from their land? How many have been compensated yet? They did not ensure the Ugandans that are going to be affected by that pipeline. We are here to deliver just a petition for heaven's sake. Uh, no, I find the way, uh, 
No, I find that. I find that. I find that. You put it in like that. I find that. I find now it should be remembered that last week students of different secondary schools in support of the pipeline project were given protection as they protested the eu resolution but this group of university students opposed to the project have been brutally arrested and beaten up by Uganda police. Now the spokesperson of police in Kampala, Patrick Onyango, says they did not seek permission to carry out the protest. Meanwhile, the EU in Uganda says they are a strong believer of freedom of expression and demonstration. Therefore, they call upon Uganda police to immediately release the students arrested. <laughs> Now, a section of members of parliament are demanding that General Mohosi Kanerugaba apologizes to Ugandans and the people of Kenya over the disturbing statements posted on his Twitter handle yesterday. Right now, we demand for an apology from our commander of land forces to the people of Kenya and to the people of Uganda. <laughs> However, the spokesperson of UPDF Brigadier General Felix Kulaije says whatever Muhozi posted on his social media platform is not a representation of the UPDF. Those were his own words. Now, the opposition in parliament has threatened to make parliament unruly if government fails to produce the abducted supporters of NUP and other opposition parties. Well, uh, making uh, parliament unruly is uh, because our parliament has, uh, has failed to perform when we went to dialogue. Addressing journalists at parliament, the Shadow Minister for Security and Presidential Affairs, Derek Nyeko, said that they are fed up with the government's empty promises of stopping NUP supporters from being abducted. Continuous abductions are still going on. Brutality while arresting these people and also taking them to safe houses still goes on. And that uh, they are undermining the institution of parliament, where, which is supposed to be a voice and uh, make sure that uh, it protects the human rights of the people. So the integrity of parliament is falling. And uh, if that is their intention to make us look uh, useless in parliament, uh, well, we say no, we are going to make it more useless than to them. Well, there you go. Those are some of the biggest stories making headlines in the country right now. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.